William Petro, uh, just here at Team O'Neill. We uh, just finished Mount Washington Hill Climb, uh, actually fastest up the hill two-wheel drive rally record. Uh, we shattered the record by uh, just about 20 seconds uh, over the 2011 run. That was 7.28, we ran a 7.09. Uh, we beat ACP and we also beat Cameron. Steely um, by about four seconds on both of them. They were only separated by one tenth, so pretty insane. Well, growing up, I always had you know Pikes Peak in mind. I didn't learn about Mount Washington until I really, really started getting into rallies again, um, which was like 2001. And, uh, you know, I was working for all the rallies and stuff like that. I wasn't driving yet. But um, once I found out that Mount Washington had a hill climb, I was like, man, I got to do that. The road at first is actually really, really bumpy. Um, really sketchy, a lot, a lot of blind crests, a lot of blind corners. I mean, some of the stuff you think you can see through the corners and you come over this tiny little rise, little crest, and next thing you know, you're halfway in a ditch. I got a 1991 or 92, whatever the hell these things are, they all look the same. Uh, Nissan 240SX. It's got a basically it's basically set up as a Sylvia, um, so it's all stock. I have a stock ECU, stock turbo, stock headers, stock exhaust. I mean, it's all stock. Uh, so it's only got about 200 at the wheel, 220 crank. Uh, you would think it's not very fast, but obviously the thing moves pretty quick. The only other modification we really did to it was some really super sticky soft tires. And uh, we got a 460 gear in the back with an LSD. So that, uh, that was able to get us up the mountain in 709. Now the car's done drifting, rally, and hill climbs all in the same car. Um, I don't know anybody else that's doing this, um, even using the same car for opposite events, you know, other events. We, we want to try to do uh, a time attack event with it this year, um, and definitely some ice racing in the winter. Really kind of sketchy on the lower section, it's really tight and narrow. As you get up the mountain, it gets faster and faster, so before you get to the dirt, you could be in a section where, you know, they call it the drag race, as uh, Sprung will put it to us. And he, uh, he said basically, you know, people be over 100 miles an hour through there. We were actually in the drag race section, um, in, the fast, in the fast lower section, doing, you know, climbing to 100 miles an hour. Next thing I know, this bird comes out of the woods, bing, right off the hood. Explodes when it hits the hood, feathers everywhere. Pretty, pretty funny actually. We were laughing in the car. <laughs> but every time I hit boost and the car was lighting up the wheels, I would do this and point towards a thousand foot exposure and be full on the throttle. I mean, yeah, I'd be steering up the road, but I mean, the nose is pointing off the freaking down. So it was pretty, uh, it was pretty hair raising for the first couple of runs, but um, we definitely got it um, in the end. I mean, it, I, I got so focused for that last run that I just didn't even see it on the last run. So it was pretty, it was pretty exciting to, to not have that thought in my head of, you know, looking over the cliff or thinking about what would happen. I mean, obviously all those kind of things go through your head as you're doing the recce and driving up the mountain regularly, but when you're racing, you don't see this stuff. Just stay focused down the road and, and you keep moving. Uh, we were definitely doing it roughly about 100 miles an hour through there. You get through that stuff, you get up to the dirt, and that's where it gets really sketchy. There's some super, super insane exposures. Like, I don't know what it is, 1,000 feet? Might even be more. I don't know. Um, but it's dirt road, no guardrails. As soon as the car gets on the dirt, it's boost and we're sideways. It's pretty gnarly. 
So the hairpin, the dirt hairpin is pretty tricky. Uh, you kind of come over a blind crest and you have about a 50, 50 meters before you get into the hairpin. And it's actually, it's a three right, we had it as a three right Titans too. Um, and it, it, if you're not all the way in, kind of with the, the front end in the ditch, the, uh, you can kind of get caught off camera, especially coming out of the exit, um, out of the turn. So on the outside of the turn, there was a big mound of dirt and some gravel, and uh, we just kept banging off it like uh, snow banks in Sweden, try to straighten us out. We love to go wide there and put on a show and spray some dirt off the cliff. Keep ripping up the road back onto the pavement, and this is where it gets really fast, technical. Just a lot of left, right, left, right, left, right, blind crest. We got the car in the air a few times over some of the crests, some little jumps, a little bit of credit card air. Once I found out that Mount Washington had a hill climb, I was like, man, I gotta do that. Um, you know, and it was just one of those things that became a bucket list item that you had to do. Um, so I've, I've knocked one off, which is pretty exciting. And to knock it off the way I did was even better. But uh, yeah, it's, it's always been one of those things. And you know, when you drive up it slow, just, just like as any normal tourist does, you see all these exposures and it scares the hell out of you. But when you're in the car and you're driving, you're so focused on the road and the turns and listening to your notes and everything, what the car's doing and responding that I didn't really see the exposures, um, except for the dirt, which really kind of sketched me out at first. But uh, the more and more we went up the, up the mountain, it was better. And then uh, we were sideways over the finish on our last run and make the record. It's pretty, pretty insane. How'd you do in the hill climb, Bill? So I was climbing Mount Washington, climbing to the clouds, first in two-wheel drive. I was getting to that. I know, go to it.